Hello everyone, welcome back to Technic4 Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to use CF Menu plugin in Cloud Funnels. Let's get started. CF Menu intelligently detects the most behaviors and then show the menu bar on your page. It helps you to create multiple menu bars on a page that you need. Let me show you how it works. First thing you need to do is log into your account. And on the sidebar menu, you will see the CF menu here. Click on it and select All Menu. Then click on Create New. Now enter the form name. Then if you have a description for it, you can enter it here. So when you have multiple forms with the same name, the description will be used to distinguish them apart. Now on the top part, click on the Creator Nav Bar, and you will see all the funnels you have created here. When you click on your funnel, all the pages that you have in the funnel will show below. And when you click on one, it will also show here, where you will see the name of the page and its URL. You can also edit the information here. You can also add an icon like what you are seeing here on the side. Here's the name and the icon. If you want to add an icon, go to fontawesome.com. Click on the search button. Now you can search any icon you would like to use. Click on your desired icon and click here to copy the code. And just paste it here. For now, I will leave it as it is. When you're done editing, Click on the plus icon to add it here. If you want to remove one, click here. If you want to change the name, edit it from here. Then click on the plus icon to add it. You can also drag and drop according to your preference. Next, go to the Themes section, where you have two options to choose from. You have Simple Menu and Mega Menu. Click one from the choices you have here. Let me choose this one. Next, go to the Logo tab. Add in your logo details, your logo type, and you can choose if you want text or image. If you don't want to add a logo, Click on the No Need. Now let me choose Text. Type in the logo text here. Choose the color of it, font size, and if you want to use the default settings, just leave it as blank. If not, you can enter it here. Keep in mind that it is applied in pixel measurement. Moving on, head to the slogan and mobile screen, then edit your details here if you want to add one, from text, sizes, and color. On the other hand, it is asking for HTML icon. It is for when you're using your mobile screen. An icon will appear to open the menu bar. Again, to add an icon, you can get one on fontawesome.com. Otherwise, if you want to use a default, just leave it as blank. If you also have a custom CSS, you can just add it here to use. Next, go to Styles. Here, it is asking for a sticky nav bar. If you want to make the nav bar fixed on top while scrolling the page, just click on Yes. And if you don't want, just click on No. Then you can edit however you want it to look like. From the background colors, Radius, Position, Items Color, Hover Text Color, and Background Color. Next, if you want to add any extra buttons, click here, such as Search, Card, or Admin button. It is available here. Again, edit the text. Add an icon from fontawesome.com and set it here. When all of that's done, you may now save your settings. Now you will see your shortcode for it. 
So there are two methods to add to the menu bar on a page. The first one is go to the Settings tab and check the checkbox for the pages you want it to be shown. To show you, let me open one. As you can see right now, it is a blank page. And when I check the box right here, here's the funnel name and page name that I have opened. Then click on the Save Settings button. Refresh this page. And now you will see all the things we have added. You can see the logo, the menu options, and the extra buttons that we have added. Again, if you want to make some changes, you can just go back to the section you want to change. And don't forget to save your settings after. When I'm switching from desktop to mobile screen, you can see it working fine. And when I am changing the theme, and when I click on this button, then you will see all the nav links are showing. And when I'm clicking on the order form, the nav link inside the order form is showing. When I'm choosing the mega menu and hit the save settings button, and after refreshing the page, you can see the changes. When I'm hovering on order form, the checkout is showing as a label. There is a procedure to add mega menu in CF menu. You can rearrange the order of the tabs you want to include. Just drag and drop it to the correct order you want. The second method is using shortcode. You can click this shortcode to copy. Now let me show you how to use the shortcode method to show a nav bar. Go to your funnel, select your page, click on the edit existing page, insert a container, and make this container as fluid so we can get the full width of the screen. And edit the size of it under the style tab and set it as auto. And lastly, Save it after making the adjustments. And that is how you would use CF Menu plugin in Cloud Funnels. Thanks for watching.